another episode of the Cardinal Cast. And wouldn't you know, we're a little bit late on the update. It's not quite noon. Um, I'm it's your like host. Monday, though. It's it's like a Monday. Yeah. It is like Monday. I'm your host, Lonnie Watson, driving the struggle bus as always, joined by Mr. Jerry Mack, high school principal. Yeah, um, we're talking about as it's kind of almost a, a Monday, or it is a Monday for us, just with a no school day yesterday on the Columbus Day, which is actually a teacher comp day for us. So. <laughs> Things are acting like it's a Monday around here. I scheduled a meeting at 7.30 this morning. What was I doing? I noticed, and I claimed I didn't have it on my calendar, which is why I didn't show up, and then I saw it was on my calendar. What was I doing? Mrs. Lampier's like, (laughs) when you showed up running into the school building to be on time, I felt a little better about my life. I was like, good. I'm glad I can make anyone feel a little bit better about their lives. No kidding. And then we had a snow day last week, so it just feels like schedules are really kind of all over the place right now. As far as the calendar, things that were scheduled to happen last week, so... Thursday was a no school day. Come back for mm-hmm. a Friday was an early out. So that schedule is a little lo- different too. Mm-hmm. And then you roll into starting your week on a Tuesday. I'm a little bitter about it. I don't think Dr. Winchester realized I was at work that day, <laughs> just in a different mm-hmm. town, yeah. um, speaking in a conference. And so I think we need a redo. And you weren't the only one that missed it. No, I was, missed it as well. I was gone too. I, know. I was I gone think, too. So I think I deserve a redo. So when they were talking about you know snow day, I was like, w- I couldn't see any snow from central no. Nebraska no. where I was at the time. No. So I was a little disappointed in that, um, I know. just because I didn't get to cuddle at home. Didn't get to sleep. It was in. very selfish. Right. You can't win with calm snow days though. Uh, <laughs> Cannot win. No. You know that because you've had to call some. I gar- no. I I think the um, the one year. So when Doctor Winchester is gone, our superintendent's gone. I'm left in charge, Uh which, by the way, this is one of those weeks. I'm in charge this week for these four days. And when she left, she goes, hey, you're in charge for these four days, but it doesn't look like snow. (laughs) (laughs) And you're like, praise it. But the one year, I think I had to call um, two different times back-to-back snow days. Um, It was crazy. And and Shadron's kind of known for not taking very many snow Mm -hmm. days. And it just seems like the last two years, I don't know what's changed, Um, but it's um, we've used, I think last year we used all of our snow days yep. plus some. We did. Which a lot of the regional schools did as well. This year we've already used one. Yep. So I, I can't win. <coughs> can't win. Right. You call it and it's not as bad and you don't call it and exactly. then it's icy and kids getting wrecks yep. and you can't win. You get just as many phone calls as an administrator yep. whether you call off school or yep. don't call off sn- a school for the snow. Cannot so that win. doesn't even factor in anymore. Nope. Nope. I'm and just I glad get, I don't have to make those decisions. Yeah, <laughs> And because it was so early in the year, I didn't even get ribbed a lot online on social media by students uh-uh. like I normally do. So we missed out on the fun even. Oh, I know. Yeah. Twitter is my favorite. Actually, there's two social media platforms are my favorite to watch. Sorry, Instagram, you're not my favorite in this instance. Yet. The, yet. The first is Twitter when the students, they smell it coming, right? You, the storms are, yeah. per- and they smell it, and then they just start tweeting at Mr. Mac all the time. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and then my second favorite is to watch Facebook blow up with um, the all the weather forecasters and what decisions should have been <laughs> right. made. That's really, it's like Monday morning quarterback, <clears throat> right? It's my favorite. Uh, one of the uh, conferences I intended, uh, attended, I think it was this summer um, after the school year got out, was a superintendent, a couple of superintendents, one from Wisconsin area, one from the eastern part of Nebraska, and they they spent more time talking about the snow day stuff <laughs> and the social media that's involved yep. in that and, and the fun. And, um, you know, one thing different now versus, you know, 10 years ago is at least we can send out, you know, the, te- the text reminds yep. uh, that go out or that we can schedule. We can communicate them so much better. You remember as a kid when you thought, God, maybe there's a snow day. And you so like you try the radio, you got the radio on, on you yeah. got the TV back and yep. forth between local stations and like, just cut, just say spearfish. Yeah. Like you'd watch the drop down on the TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forgot about that. I think, <laughs> yeah. You just, you're just constantly on edge. Like, yeah. is it going to be, is, is it going to be? be? And Nobody then the knew. S's would go past and you're like, Oh, darn yeah. it. And we don't run route buses either. And sometimes that's better. And sometimes that's mm-hmm. worse, um, on those days as well. So. Oh, snow days. Well, yeah. and then it was awkward because for us, and this is what I want to talk about today, our title today, and I, our internet was a little bit, um, mine was, in my office was hit or miss this morning. It was so, this morning. Yeah. I didn't get to, to put anything out to the universe on what we were talking about today. But today our title is going to be quarter ending, grades, report cards, and more. So um, for us, it's kind of interesting because our quarter was supposed to end on Friday, and it right. did. Um but we did a little extension. Yeah, we kind of had a plan in place um, for possible weather hitting in the last two days of the quarter. Mm-hmm. And so because it hit on Thursday was no school, 
And then Friday with that shortened schedule, which is probably a good thing because some students could stay and get some help from some from uh, teachers after school. Uh, but we extended the quarter through actually today yep. so that the students could turn work in. And then I extended uh, teachers posting grades for another day as well. So parents, if you're waiting on quarter grades, they might be posted, but I didn't ask for them to be po uh, posted until tomorrow, actually. Yep, and so we're just putting it out to the internet <laughs> world, and we did to our kids today, too, that if there's anything that um, that they need to get in, that they need to make up, um, talking to their teachers. I know, like, Mrs. Pow Pow and I were chasing down a few students today because no, they might no. not be in our class this quarter, but they could still complete something they were missing. So our teachers right. are really good about contacting the kids, and now that they have the Chromebooks, you know, they get all the emails from us as well that it's extended. But we'll just put that out to the Internet universe mm -hmm. that if a student needs something today, still can get it in. Just one. Something's hanging on the screen there. It's bothering me. <laughs> Sounds good. Should we do a shout out to all three of our listeners out here? Yay! Hello. <clears throat> so we have YouTube channel going on. Yep. We have uh, Instagram live, Facebook live, and then we have our audio listeners as well on iTunes, yeah. Spotify, Stitcher, etc. Podbean. Podbean. Forgot about that all one. All the things we yep. I don't even know. All the it goes out <clears throat> to the universe. It's man. just magical. It just goes. I love it. Um. End of quarter. End so of quarter. let's talk. I don't want this to be a boring, but I think this is super important information to get out and to have um, an audio capture of this because we talk with kids all the time about what it means at Shattern High School to be the end of a quarter and the end of the semester. Those are right. two very different things. Well, and then you throw in, we have semester classes because mm -hmm. we're a um, block scheduled school, 90 minute blocks. So we have semester classes, and yet we also have some quarter classes. So yeah, yeah it. I think it's worth us taking a little time today just to review this for parents. So today's going to be about quarters and semesters, semesters when report cards are coming out, what yep. a transcript looks like, and what you might see here. Um, so the first thing I want to make sure that everybody understands is the quarter grades don't go on the transcript if it's a semester class. So... Correct. Transcript is what is official for high school. That's what we send to colleges. That's what employers ask for is a transcript. Mm -hmm. um, the only people that really ask for report cards anymore are parents and in, sometimes insurance. They want them for like car and right. deals. Right, yeah. right, which we can actually print those for insurance needs mm -hmm. anytime. Anytime. Yeah, yeah. so because I, knew, I do know parents, um, and truthfully, I think a lot of the local insurance companies have changed how they do that now a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because we get phone calls mm -hmm. um, for some verification stuff, but usually from parents. Yeah. Uh, we can take care of it really quick. So with Infinite Campus, the way we do, we don't even have yeah. to wait for a report card nope. to get that information to parents for yeah, that's uh, those easy. early driver's license yep. and insurance needs. The only classes to be really <clears throat> cognizant on that are going on an official transcript would be right now if you're a freshman or sophomore in one of those quarter offering classes. Health speech that are only offered for the eight nine weeks right. and then done are those just freshmen well unless you're a transfer student because some kids come right. in and need a health credit to graduate but typically 98 percent of it's just freshmen okay so, so th in fact those students are starting brand new classes today because yep. today's brand the, new class yeah yep. the, so one one class of the, in their schedule uh, for most freshmen or all freshmen Yes. Is a new class today because today's the start of the second quarter. And I'm amazed. Usually every year, you'll love this. Almost every year, I print off schedules for the freshmen to have so they mm -hmm. know what their quarter class. Well, I had that meeting this morning, and so oh. I didn't get to it. I had printed it off on Friday, but I forgot to go get them in the printer, and I didn't get to it. I had like only two freshmen ask me what their new class was. They <laughs> knew, you guys. That's amazing. That's really good. I That's had really one good. before school yeah. that came and asked, and he, he knew the answer before I looked it up. He just yeah. wanted to make sure and wanted to ask where the room was. I thought that was amazing because yeah. usually I have that preemptively for them, and yeah. they didn't even hardly need it. Man, they're responsible. That's Yeah, the freshmen are coming around pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. <clears throat> so um, wh why do we do quarter grades? Well, those some quarter classes go on the transcript, but most of the quarter grades is kind of think of it as a progress grade. It will be averaged in with quarter two to make the semester grade total. So quarter one grade, so let's say I was at an 80%. Um, I'll do easy math because it makes, it's, you know, it's a Monday okay. pretty much. If I'm at 80% quarter one, I get a 90% quarter two. My semester grade will be an 85. Just take those and average them. Okay. And that's what goes on the official transcript is a semester grade. 
So what's the difference between a transcript and a report card? Transcript is what officially uh, colleges will take. It's got the stamp and my signature on it. A report card really is just their progress report. I mean, I just, yeah. I think, what, am I saying that? How do you, I, how I, would you describe it? That, no, you've nailed it. Yeah. I, I always view it as a live, or a look at the teacher's grade book mm -hmm. halfway through the class. Yep. Yeah, that's, a, that's a report, re, uh, you know, report card grade. Yep. But a transcript, well, a transcript, I know the answer to some of these questions, by the way. But yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, does a transcript show any midterm grade at all? No. It nope, doesn't show any the, quarter grade. Yeah. No, it doesn't even show a percentage. So, like, if you just sneak right. that A in, I'm not trying to coach anyone up to do this. I mean, heck, Lonnie Watson would never do this. So, but if you just sneak into that category, like maybe you're a 90 something, something, point something, and barely an A, just says A on the transcript. Which is the same as college, correct? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Same as college. So, and I remember, you know, in college having to play that quick catch up, you know, to help the, the GPA, so be it. The lowest A you can possibly get is the same shape of an A yep. <laughs> for the kids who got the 100%. Not even extra curvature. Same A. <clears throat> right. Exact same A. doesn't show A minus, nope. A pluses, or just A's. It's, and it's just A's, B's, C's, D's. That's a good point because some schools still do the minus plus system, yeah. but we are like a college system, very <laughs> similar mm -hmm. um, to what you'd see in a college transcript. Yeah, so the transcript, all it records is the course end grade. Yep, period, period, and it records that by the letter, the letter grade. So, I mean, it's just even we're talking about higher grades, it's even good to know. So if you're failing, if we have kids failing a class this quarter, they can still get a high enough average in quarter two to balance that out to a passing grade. So Right. Which, okay, I'm bouncing back and forth with my thoughts here. But um, so... We've got to be reminded of the transcript is the course end grade. Mm -hmm. But the difference is some courses end in nine weeks mm -hmm. and some of our courses end in a semester. Yep. We really don't have a course with any end grade for a year. No. For instance, we have band as an example of a course that goes on all year. Yep. But it's recorded as, not as a quarter class, it's recorded as a semester class. Exactly. Yep. So we'll it, post everything at semester regardless of whether they're still continuing on for And that year. way the fall yep. is like your pet band series and the, yep. with those concerts. And then the spring is concert band. Yep. It's kind of the focus for the, for the competition. So, so even, even those courses, you know, that's one of the few courses that runs all year long for a 45-minute class. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, just, kind of, you know, just for parents to keep in mind, there's either mm -hmm. the nine-week classes – they're going to have a final transcript grade, and then there's the semester classes. We'll yep. have the semester grades. And so what you're saying is most of our classes are semester long. Yep. Okay. And so the report card grade just kind of tells us where we're at after the halfway point. Absolutely. But that grade is used to average with the next quarter to come up with that transcript grade. Yep, we're on it. So it is important. It's very important. Um, it's only half the story. So we're right. only halfway there. Yep. So we're starting the second half of that story today. We are. With those. With a clean slate. Yeah. So yep. in the grade book, parents, I think, can still view the fall mm -hmm. grades. They can. First yep. quarter grades. Um, but to teachers, they're locked. Yep. They're going to be locked out. In other words, we can't, other than for some excused purposes with absences, we can go back and put in some grades that we're missing uh, for excused reasons. But otherwise, those grades are locked. Fresh start every week, however you want to think about it. You're either starting at 100% or today, yep. and you're rolling for quarter two. Absolutely. We're rolling. So if we got here, – here's a, a game we play all the time with students. Passing is a 70%. So mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about a student who's struggling. So uh, if passing is 70%, 70%, if you end this, the, the, the semester with a 70, you get a credit. I know, Right. But if you end the semester with a 68 or a 69, no credit, no credits. And we take, I mean, we toggle that line a lot with students yes. and it's like, oh, two percentage, let's go. So why do we need credits? I mean, uh, what's different about high school versus kindergarten through yeah. eighth grade? I know we need credits. We have to have yeah. so many credits from the state of Nebraska to give these kids a diploma. And not only that, we're a high performing school in the state of Nebraska. So we require 28 credits, which is a lot. Um, I think state minimum is 20. Yeah. Yeah. For 20 credits yep. to graduate. 
most schools require about 24, yeah. I would say, is probably the ballpark of an right. average. Yeah, some yeah. 26. We're a 28. Yep. But some are probably 22. Yep. So, yeah, maybe the average is a little higher than 24 then. Yeah, I bet, it, I bet it's, yeah, okay. a little higher than that. <clears throat> but credits are so important. They're important at every high school. Um, you know, one of the reasons, too, that we require more credits is because we have more time in our day with our cool block schedule. Right. Like, if you're on an eight-period day or a seven-period day, sometimes you just can't fit as many of those classes in with so many passing periods. Um, but I think when you said the word credit in a 68%, like I cringed a little bit. You probably could physically see me because <laughs> it is just that important. And I see how important that the difference between a 68 and a 70 is a credit on a transcript. Right. It's a whole semester's worth of work. It is, um, oh my gosh, it is just important to get as many credits and then you have um at shattern high school if you do not fail any classes you'll have four free classes to use then you can walk over and take a what do you mean four class. free classes because well, we don't have study halls or anything no. right so there's no gimmies in the schedule halls. no so when i say four free classes i mean we ha kind of have a buffer if you take and pass every class you've ever had at shattern high school you'll graduate with 32 credits there which is go. great awesome but what i'd rather kids do with those four extra is walk across the street and take a college class let me help them with an online class right. um you know just get started ahead of time and we have some cool if if kids are on free and reduced lunch i can get them free college credits that's huge it's huge it's yeah. like a thousand dollars you know off um and so I like to see students pass all their classes so that eventually I could help them get a head start in college for very cheap. So can just kind of talking ahead here, but can any student take college courses or who, who's that reserved for? Juniors and seniors, okay. um, juniors and seniors, and they do have to have a minimum of a 3.0 GPA, or sometimes we can get around that with an ACT score um, okay. in a subsection. So. So there's a couple different qualifiers that get you in if you don't have the 3.0 GPA, but we can prove that they're a strong student in the subject area, whether it's a letter from me, an ACT score, a teacher's recommendation. Okay. Um, so knock on wood, we've been really, really blessed to mm -hmm. have WNCC and Chattern State to work with and University of Nebraska Lincoln online, um, that they will make this happen for kids and they are very successful in them. Right. So just to kind of repeat that, uh, a student who passed every class in Shadron High School, if you took a full load every year, you'd end up with 32 credits, right. but you only need 28 to graduate only from Shadron High. Yep. So that's the four extra classes. Right. And so what that allows for juniors and seniors is you can split that up and go two and two, which means you can use one class, get one block mm -hmm. off um, by taking a college course mm -hmm. each semester both your junior fall spring and senior mm -hmm. fall spring semesters. Yep. Um, and then one thing to tell, like, um, so when we schedule that, <clears throat> how do we, oh, I know the answer to this. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out how to phrase it so you know the question. <laughs> um, in other words, we really do have some students who get a, a block of class off mm -hmm. their junior and oh, senior year, yeah. but there's a trade for that. You have to prove... Oh, yeah. Oh, because the number one most asked question in my office is, Mrs. Watson, can I get a free block? Right. <laughs> and we right. don't give free blocks. We don't give them. But you can get one. You can earn one by taking a college class in person, online. Um, and if it's... Three, an, is it three credit hour? Three credit yeah, hour. At least three yep. credit hour. And the in-person ones are kind of funny. So I usually help schedule that for kids because it's, it's kind of hard to find right. one at the college that works with our schedule. Right. But there's a bunch that exist and we find it all the time. The kids love the in-person <coughs> ones the best. Um, but we are able to get them either or. Um, a lot of kids take like, it used to be called comp one and now it's writing and rhetoric. Mm -hmm. And so they'll walk across. But the nice thing about it is college classes are only like two to three days a week. So really, right. they do get a free block for a couple of days of the week, and then a couple of days they're up there for about forty-five minutes. So it, I, I feel like it's a show of like we understand that they're an amazing student. We are giving them this opportunity. It's usually at a reduced cost, um, unless it's just an early entry class. Um, we've got dual credits as well, but mm -hmm. it's just a really good opportunity for kids to get a head start in college and gain some confidence while they're in a really structured environment. Right. So <clears throat> some of our top students won't graduate with 32 credits. No. 
they'll graduate with a 28 yep. or 27 or, or, or not, excuse me, 28 or 30 or yep. something like that. In other words, they have less than the full because yep. they've been in, trading off a three credit hour college class yep. for a, a Shadron High School course. For a free block. And the nice thing is I love it too because they come in and get help from me or my interns have been a lot of help this yeah. year on, hey, let's sit down and I'll show you how to work this whole online college right. portal because even the in-class classes have the online college portal as well. So you got to learn the game both ways. So well, it's really nice. And that's kind of why we do the trade that we'll give them a block off for a three credit hour classes. It gives them, it truthfully gives them homework time a lot of times those students come into the school and they're sitting out here in the commons where they can maybe occasionally slip in, ask a teacher for some help, ask yep. yourself, myself. Um, but it just, it, a college course is going to come with some requ you know, yep. required homework. And, and so it just builds time into their daily schedule for that. So yep. it's worked really good for us. Um, back to the quarter ending. Um, just a, another reminder on the nine week deal. It's just, so most of our classes, unless you're in one of those typically freshman quarter classes, um, the classes our students were in first quarter, they're going to still be in today yep. for this next quarter. Cause it ends at semester before Christmas break. Yep. Um, for the shattered high alum, if you graduated more than 10 years ago, uh, maybe 12 years ago, you might recall we used to end the semester break the second week of January. Oh, terrible. Oh, my goodness. It was it was yeah, terrible. Not good. <clears throat> so in other words, the and, and some people say, well, why do we start school so early? You know, we started relatively with the same. We look at the school calendars for the panhandle. We started the same as most other schools. Um, but for us, we just can't move it any later because it's for us, it's a priority to end the semester before Christmas break, because I just remember back in the day in the mid 2000s, I would say even students would have to finish write. They'd be writing research papers during Christmas break, mm -hmm. or they were expected to do this work on these big projects for some of those core classes. Mm -hmm. Then they came back after Christmas break. And then you had to play a couple days of catch up with the old material that you were covering to remind them where you were in the book or the chapter. And Take you a final? Are you, you kidding me? But the weird part, yeah. you always had about a week to yeah. cover some new material yeah. and give a <laughs> test over it, and then you had to have the cumulative final, which took up more days. And so all of that is now done at the semester before Christmas break, which is uh, it's just way better. Yeah, and it's I, a way better system. I'm not at you know, trust me or not, it's just way better for students. It's way better for teachers mm -hmm. um, that we're able to end those semesters. Um, before Christmas break. Heck yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. I, uh, I've done that. I, when I was at Blair, I think one year that we had to go into and that's just brutal. <laughs> yeah. It's just brutal. It's and it good used to, to be common. Oh yeah. It was yeah, schools just did it. Yeah. yeah. We all did it because so many days and contact hours with yeah. the kids. And that's, that's what, um, those transcript credits to you guys just, I know we've touched on absenteeism before as well, but it doesn't matter what grade you have when we're talking about putting a, a letter grade and a credit associated with a transcript, there are all these rules we have to follow mm -hmm. and, um, seat time and all, all of the things. So if you miss yeah. too many days, you don't get your credit for it. Um, if you don't get the appropriate grade, obviously the 70%, but it's different than middle school and elementary school. So if you're a new parent to our building, um, that will be something that kids, and I, I tell you what, I am in freshmen's faces all the time about it, just reminding them like, hey, remember, these grades go on your transcript, right. and I don't know how many ways I can say it differently. I'm, I'm trying to pump it out to them when I teach, teach in their classes, when I go visit them as eighth graders, when I mm -hmm. speak in freshman transition class, um, on the podcast, on my five bullet Fridays in emails, but any parents in the internet world that want to help me remind freshmen that their grades are official and they go on a transcript and you can't take algebra one or pass algebra one until you pass algebra one. Right. I'm always game mm -hmm. for help with that. It is a battle I'm fighting and not always winning on reminding and I think some of it's just the age and, and it's a new and exciting environment mm -hmm. and we forget. Our freshmen are killing it in our building. I'm really proud of them. But if anyone in that internet world wants to remind your niece or nephew or your son or daughter that those are official grades, yeah. that'd be great. And, and what's funny is we still get, so transcripts have to be stored by the mm -hmm. high school forever. Mm -hmm. And so we have physical copies of transcripts. I know I've seen them back at, through the 50s. I mean, mm -hmm. well before this oh, yeah. building was up and running in 68. Yeah. And, and a couple of years ago, I got a phone call of someone who, 
I think they graduated either in the mid 60s or late 60s. And for some reason, they needed proof of yeah. some schooling or something. And we actually had to pull up because it's not uncommon for us to look at some, you know, provide transcripts for, for somebody, you know, that graduated 10, Absolutely. 15 years ago. But yep. to do it for someone 50 years ago was, yep. was impressive. So those transcripts are forever. They're forever. And those, the number of credits on the transcript determine whether you get a diploma or not. Mm -hmm. And that's what's different about high school versus kindergarten through eighth grade. Um, and I'm not picking on high school, but I'll use, uh, or middle school, but I'll, I'll use middle school as an example. Usually in middle school is where you start recording grades by percentages. So mm -hmm. a student who got a, a 65% in a math class in middle school, well, you, you don't have to hold them back. You can, you, you know, based on just that data alone, if they passed all their other classes, that student is probably still going to progress to the next grade next year. Mm -hmm. In high school, you, you have to get those credits and you have to get 28 total. Mm -hmm. And so many of them have to be in these different core classes. Yep. Like for instance, English, you need four credits mm -hmm. for English on a, or you don't get a diploma. No Nebraska diploma without four English credits. You yep. could have 36 yep. credits on a yep. transcript, but if four of them aren't in, in English. PE is always the one I c come across. Yep. You have to have a credit and a half of PE. <clears throat> I just had that discussion this morning with some parents good one. to graduate from a Nebraska high school. And that's rule 10. And that, that is how mm -hmm. you get a diploma. And in the counseling office, I'm kind of the gatekeeper of that a little bit. Um, it's kind of cool, you guys. I allowed access to parents and students on Infinite Campus. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Infinite yeah. Campus. I'll talk about I mean, that a little bit later. I, I have got an issue with them this year and these notifications. But um, there's a feature on Infinite Campus called the Academ Academic Planning. And you can see it's really cool. It's color-coded green and red. And green means, yep, it, let's say... PE is green and it says mm -hmm. 1.5 slash 1.5. That means out of the 1.5 credits you needed to get a Nebraska diploma, you're green to go there. But like English stays red until their senior year because then they finally get the chance to take that fourth year of English. Right. And so then green to go after that. So that's kind of a fun feature if any parent wants to kind of play on there a little bit. I, I, I don't think I've seen that, truthfully. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It, it's pretty easy. I usually get some phone calls on it. It's, it's easy for me to read because I do it, right? Right. Because so, I'm the gatekeeper and I'm constantly counting credits with kids and, and making four-year plans with them. But um, I think the color codeness makes it right. a little easier to Absolutely. see. Yeah. And if you see like elective six out of nine, just meaning we need three more um, and right. we'll we'll get those because not a lot of those go green before their senior year because we require 28 credits. So. And I started talking about the struggling student, and I, I kind of veered to a different direction. So I'm going to come back to that. Um, so let's say you're in a semester class, which most of our students are, and this report card comes out and sh shows that at the end of first quarter of the semester-long class, you have a, a 60. Mm -hmm. And so what the math we play with students is you need to at least get a 70 to get the credit on the transcript. Mm -hmm. That's what's important. Yep. You know, the second part would maybe be the letter that's on the transcript, but truthfully, right away, it's just whether you get the transcript, the credit or not. Yep. So you need the 70. You scored 10 points below at the quarter point, at the mm -hmm. halfway mark. So that means in order to average a 70, you've got to score 10 points above the 70 yep. for the second quarter. That means you have to at least get an 80. Because um, I had a student uh, was uh, viewing grades, and this student was – you know, had missed some days and miscellaneous reasons, you know, grades down to a 55 with a week to go. And the conversation is, it's so much easier for you to get credit if that 55 can turn into a 65 right. by the end of the report right. card, by the Absolutely. end of the nine weeks. Yeah. Because that puts you so much closer to that 70 mark going in because we're going to average the two quarters mm -hmm. to get the semester grade. And I have not met more accommodating teachers, you guys, than Chattern High School teachers. In fact, like, I think we, I, at times, I think we're having a problem with it because we we accommodate so much that we have all this missing work. Right. And then the teachers, it just, be, you know, I think students get used to this list, laundry list of five missing grades in a quarter. Oh, man. You know, and if they do turn them in, they get, the poor teacher's got to grade all of this just before you know, the last couple days of the quarter. Right. And I, you know, it's probably because with high school comes more responsibility too. Like there's no forced, um, um, study hour after school or, you know, there's like, we're always trying to coach kids up that before and after school is not punishment time at the high school. It is oh, like purposeful one-on-one yeah. -on -one tutoring time. Like we did a whole podcast episode of does your kid need a tutor? And the answer is no, they don't. They need to use their tutor. That's free here right. in their teacher. Um, 
but yet but, they feel like they're in trouble if they yeah, have to stay after school stay. or come in in the morning to see a teacher yeah. for some help. And turn those zeros in, man. <clears throat> if you got a couple zeros in and they're accepting and that teacher, Mrs. Lamphere, will take them through today, just yep. turn those in. I mean, I'm trying to get kids to turn in stuff, even if it's not done really well, just to get some points, Absolutely. just to get that bump up so the average at semester is higher. By far, the the greatest majority of students who fail classes is due to missing work. Oh, yes. And missing work is zeros. Yep. So replacing a zero with something. It's just know, invaluable. Yeah. yeah. Brings yep. those grades up. So that's what last week we spent a lot of time communicating that to students here yep. within the building is, you know, if you're, you're sitting at a 55, if you can get that to a 65 or a 68 yep. just by turning in some assignments, even if the assignments were 70% completed, Yep. Your grades are going to go up immensely by turning in these zeros, Absolutely. missing assignments, and, and set yourself up for opportunity for success yeah. at the end of the semester. And I don't believe for one second when those kiddos say, oh, I can't turn that in. I contact that teacher right away because the truth is always somewhere in the middle. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. take it, but it needs to be by this time. So our teachers are super accommodating. I don't want to, like, put that out to the Internet world and have any students take more advantage of our teachers than I think they already take by those right. zeros. But I just want to let parents know that, gosh, those teachers are – wanting work they just want those kids at grade level they want them to learn the material and they can't le learn the material unless you you put in the academic time right. so they'll usually take it so since we extended the quarter I, I i know the answer to this question too but are the report cards printed no i haven't even touched those yeah because it's not final yet i don't i want those kids to get those things in so, so i'm like delaying it as as long as possible be, because we try it we're always trying to save money here and, and mailing just isn't been cost effective for us mm -hmm. how do the report cards show up at home for high school students so on friday is my plan because you know me i'm sneaky i'm like waiting a little bit just in case mm -hmm. i have a straggling student that turns something in that a teacher might take um on friday i will print those out and i'll put them with their fourth block teachers and they'll hand them to, yeah. to bring home so you should as a parent get it on friday just be ready for it and we'll probably send out a remind text and mm -hmm. say hey report cards are coming home with students today if by chance it did not make it to your beautiful home just email me and i'll i can electronically send you a copy of it and it's is here's part of the reason why we don't mail them home there's there's they're just not official yeah it's just a piece not. of paper that yeah. shows the same grade you can see on infinite campus if that's a parent was is. to log into yep. the parent portal that's all it is so that's why we send them home with yep. with the students now, we do it at Christmas, the end of the week. Yeah. yeah, it'll for some at semester break. I'll mail those home because we won't see the students until I, um, mm -hmm. after those are posted. So the teachers have some time to post the grades, and then I usually come back and work contract day mm -hmm. over Christmas break and put those in the mail because those are official that go on the transcript. Right. It's yeah, because then it's showing the official mm -hmm. grade that will be yep. on the transcript. Again, parents can still view all those grades on the campus portal. Absolutely. But. So we just wait and send, um, as far as mailing this stuff home, we just kind of wait and do it at the end of the semester. Can I talk about my beef with the campus portal real quick? Oh, here we go. Okay, I've got a lot I'm of beef I'm curious, with it, actually. I don't know how much I love these, like, instant bling notifications when a oh. grade goes right in. I don't know. Like, Internet World parents who are watching, give me a comment. Do you love it? Or is it too much? I'm sure you can turn it off. But I assume so, so. the issue I have is then we've got this text communication going back and forth with parents and students in the middle of the day. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's a lot of pressure on parents to know mm -hmm. when grades go in the grade book, like instantaneously. I don't know how I feel about that. So the government teacher is, has his planning period. So he's entering grades. Yeah. While the student is sitting in math or yeah. some other class and then the parent gets notification Oh, and the student gets it too, yeah. I think. So parents yeah. know this. When the, when you get the noti if you get the notification, that's not when the student saw the grade. That's no. just when the teacher had their planning period and was entering grades. Yeah. And so that student is in another class at the time. So by texting them right away, they might not be in that class. Yes, in fact, they, they probably, probably aren't. are not. Yeah. No. And then they're probably <clears throat> freaking out in that class because they're nervous. Yeah, and it was probably for some grade that was due yesterday, or yeah. you know, and the teachers just you know going through their daily routine of emptying yeah. the basket and yep. entering grades. I don't and know how I feel about that. I just feel like it's a lot of pressure. It is pressure. I, I feel like I don't know. I'm like siding with the parents on this one. I feel like it's a lot of pressure for the parents. I, I don't know why, but I mean for the students so too because they're getting no, the notifications. But I mean they have. I don't feel as bad for them about that because they have ownership over that and they knew the effort they put into. The parents are like, you know. 
not doing their homework for them. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about these notifications. I get that. I, I hadn't really thought of that. But as a parent, <gasps> they that cr- me out. creates a little stress for the it parent. It does. I know. Um, I, I told you a little bit about this. I picked it up at a conference last week. Um, and we might try a podcast or a video topic on this in the future. But I told you persuasive design yes. is the new talk. Um, so I got to, a chance to listen to a, it was a safety security summit for schools and cybersecurity was there doing a presentation and they were talking about persuasive design by this tech companies and how they're designed like notifications is an example of persuasive design and psychologists in the U.S. just got through like petitioning or the, there was a hundred of them signed off on these letters to tech companies mm-hmm. saying that you're it's exactly what you're saying that. It's they're they're using the term unethical. That it's unethical to constantly hook your customers mm-hmm. into wanting to view or be more active in your in your technology. As an example, if I this is great. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll use the one I shared yes, with you. Yes, please do. As an example, they they mentioned Netflix. Netflix love has it. love Netflix. By the way, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. They have persuasive design built in because their competitor. Their number one competitor isn't another movie company. Their number one competitor is sleep time. When you asked me the question, like, who do you think Netflix's number one competitor was? I was like, God, Amazon Prime? Right. Hulu. Hulu. Yeah, no, sleep. Disney Plus coming out next month? It's sleep. <coughs> it's which sleep. Makes sense. And so what is, what's the persuasive design that Netflix uses when you're watching a series is at the end of this, that episode, mm-hmm. this episode gets over, the next episode is already starting in what yeah. five seconds? It, like you see it count down yeah. in five, four, four three. three, and you're like, "Do I have time for another? Let's go." They, they, <laughs> they're not giving you time to get up and go no. fill in your glass of water at the no. sink to change out laundry. No, nope. they're hooking you right away, saying the hook we just left that last episode off That's with crazy. is going to be answered here in seconds. You know, so you got to stay tuned. That's persuasive design. Uh, the other example is the notifications. I know. Notifications going off on our phone yeah. that most of them we can opt out of in a way, but they opt you in them from the beginning mm-hmm. because it's a way of hooking you to come in to look at their app, click on their app mm-hmm. and view more. And, and so uh, Stanford is who did the study on persuasive design. The yeah. information just came out. I, I want to take a look at it. Oh, I'm super interested <clears throat> in it. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same thing you're talking about with parents and grades yeah. and a grade notification comes in and... I'm oh interested. My, you know. Comment below this video on yeah. Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, wherever you're at, and tell me, let's just have a conversation about it. Like, tell me what you think. Like, do you love mm-hmm. it? Do you love, do you feel like it's extra accountability for you and your kid? Or are you like me and it just stresses you out? <laughs> like, I'm super interested to know what you guys think about it. So mm-hmm. that's my beef for this week. It's the only beef I brought. That's a good one, though. Besides it's very fact, valid. Yeah, besides for the fact that I scheduled myself and some teachers a 730 meeting. I'm beefing myself about that <laughs> one. That was stupid. That's okay. I just skipped it anyway. Um, Can I put a pu- couple plugs out there before we end up? Um, What you got? Five Bullet Fridays. So I've been trying this new thing because I feel like I'm overwhelmed with my phone and my email. Mm-hmm. And I can be overwhelming in the counseling office emailing parents. Mm-hmm. So I started this five bullet Friday and I think I've talked about it a little bit on the podcast, but I'm not sure. So every Friday morning in your inbox should be an email from, um, Shattern high school C- Cardinal counseling. And a lot of it's like dates and things to remember. Like right. last week I talked about report cards a little bit and that they were cu- quarter was ending and that we had that extension. Um, I also talked about like the, I'm giving the PSAT tomorrow and why we give the PSAT and if that's a good fit for your kid. Um, I talked to, I always do like a, um, the fifth bullet is our mental health minutes. So mm-hmm. just something worth that I found worth sharing or that our school mental health provider has found worth sharing. But my click rate is not very good right now on that. So I, my opens, um, I can't, it's, it seems to be that not a lot of people are opening that, mm-hmm. but they could be getting it off your blog. So uh, maybe some, yeah. I've, I've had Facebook. a couple of parents talk to me that they okay, actually good. see them. So I just want um, everyone to know, and if you could share this episode with somebody from Shattern High School mm-hmm. or tag them, like if you think that this is good information, if you have a friend who has a lot of questions about what goes on at Shattern High School or when the dates for the ACT are, if you could just tag mm-hmm. them in this podcast at the bottom, that would be great. <laughs> um, or just tag a bunch of people. Um, that'd be great because I've got those five bullet Fridays coming out mm-hmm. and 
I just want to make sure everyone's getting that information because it's it's an easy way for me to send one email and try not to bombard everyone. Right. And then you can go back and look at past archives. Um, second thing is I have my last transition to college event for the fall on Monday night at 6. Any junior or senior parent is welcome. We'll have some food. We'll probably order pizza. And again, we're going to talk about budgeting for college. So it's going to be kind of like how to pay for college kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Any junior or senior parent is welcome to come. More information in the Five Bullet Friday emails that's on your mm -hmm. website, um, in your inbox, hopefully on Facebook and on Instagram. So Very good. And speaking of click rate, we presented mm -hmm. last week. Yeah. I joined you at one of your conferences real quick yeah. since I was uh, in Kearney at the time. But um, on the value of this, yeah. uh, providing school conversations, uh, yeah. and that's why this isn't a quick click on social media. This is a... You're dedicating your time to listen to however much of, of these broadcasts, whether it's through audio or video. Um, and, and we're just now collecting the data that, uh, of us doing this. And one thing we're looking at is click rate, view rate, those kind of things to see if there's validity to having hosting these weekly conversations as well. So, um, yeah, feedback is good, I guess, is the bottom line feedback. where I was going. Just uh, parents let us know. People let us know. Uh, we've heard from some people in town. Not all of them are parents or even have kids in the high school, but... Um, it sounds like the conversations are appreciated. Absolutely. If you're listening to us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, any of those sources, if you could um, rate and review the podcast mm -hmm. and um, obviously give us five stars, but no, I'm just kidding. You do you. <laughs> you no, don't, but do it. F but five you, stars. But, but please, you don't owe us anything. You rate it, whatever you think. Lonnie will sing for you for I five stars. I sing, and I'm very, very bad. <laughs> we sing a lot of Down yeah. by the Bay, where the watermelons grow at my house right now. There you go. Back to my home. I did. Okay, that's it. I'll talk sing. Okay. But no. Share the links. Share the links. Um, review and rate on iTunes would just help us to let spread us the know word. That yeah. let us know we're here mm -hmm. and that we are spending this time at something valuable. So that's our home. I got nothing else, Mr. Mac. Thanks Til next for week. joining me. Till next week. One day we'll be on right at noon. <laughs> Wasn't today. No. Might be next week though. It was me today. Join us. Noon next week. All right. See you guys. <laughs>